I'm very cold right now, but the sun is coming up. Let's leave everything and go traveling. See what tomorrow brings. It's only a choice away. Good morning. It's almost noon now, but we've just relaxed. It's been really pretty. It's sunny today. Not too cloudy, so you can we have a great view of the volcano again. Trying to acclimatize to the elevation, and then I think maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll uh, see how high we can hike. But um, it's just a beautiful day today, so we opened up the tent, and a nice cool breeze is coming in feeling creative so I'm gonna do some editing in here. Tim just went for a hike just just around the area to explore and see what's nearby. The view out my window is not bad right now. <laughs> I don't know, it's cool. It's um as much as we love getting, you know, remote and away from people, we also love people. It's so cool to hear from um other people. We <laughs> We watch, you know, our our YouTube videos that we that inspired us before we left. We love watching Delos and um, Tula's. Sometimes you'll see Tim wearing the Tula's shirt. Came with us on the trip. Um, yeah, so it's just cool. You feel like you have this little community of not always people that are nearby or that you've even met, but it's cool to to have those like-minded people around. So we appreciate all the feedback and all the comments and. Um, we love hearing from you guys. So, anyways, I'm going to work on some more videos and enjoy maybe reading a book a little bit and just being here and relaxing and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. It is, it is so cool and mind-blowing to think that right now our little house is set up at the base of two volcanoes. One over there is actually active. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy. We're here. It's pretty cool. been dreaming for so long But now you're waking And you're still waiting for the sun To come along All your fantasies pointing at things you can't see You're caging yourself And you want to be free Tell me what do you want And what do you need to see Over the next few days, as we waited out the weekend crowd to hike, we spent some time exploring the less visited areas of this breathtaking park. Cold in your heart Where's the energy gone? You were slow at the start but Now it's taking too long Your hope for the day When they tell you you've won But before that day comes all your days will be done Hello dreamer You've been dreaming for so long Now you're waking, 
You're still waiting for the sun to come along Eventually, on Sunday evening, the crowds were gone and we found our spot for the night at the base of the volcano and prepared for our hike the next morning. I have to admit, this was an intimidating hike. It says the third highest peak in Mexico with a summit of 17,160 feet and is the lowest peak with permanent snow and glaciers. Although it says a dormant volcano, Popo, which sits next to it, is still active. These two volcanoes have some pretty cool myths surrounding them. One of them is that Itza, an Aztec princess, and Popo, a brave warrior, fall in love, much to the chagrin of Itza's father. So he sends Popo to war, promising he would allow the warrior to marry his daughter if he returned. Of course, Itza's father didn't expect him to return and had arranged several suitors for his beloved daughter. When Itza got wind of this, she decided to kill herself, as she also assumed there was no way he would return and she could not stand the thought of marrying anyone else. Sadly, Popo did return, only to discover the death of his beloved Itza. He took her to the top of the mountain, hoping the cold would wake her. But instead, he froze, and the legend says that God covered them with snow and changed them into mountains. Itza's mountain was called La Mujer Dormida, the sleeping woman, because it bears a resemblance to a woman sleeping on her back. Popo became the volcano raining fire on earth in blind rage at the loss of his beloved. Good morning. It Good is morning. 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. We're about to go hike a volcano. Yep. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's not up yet. And it is cold as we start the hike, but it's clear skies. Last night it rained quite a bit. Uh, hopefully we'll see a nice, beautiful sunrise in the clear skies. Whew, elevation. I wish you could uh, capture how cool that is. Hiking by moonlight up above the clouds. I'm very cold right now, but the sun is coming up. And it was a little scary. What's that? Crawling up all these icy rocks without much light it's not my favorite hopefully the view will be worth it and we'll be warm over soon all right how you doing freezing yeah last night it was uh sort of raining on the truck which it's done every night but up here as you can see it turned to snow uh, or sleet or whatever you want to call it so we're just taking very tiny steps, cruising along. Wow, look at that. After hiking in darkness for at least two hours, it's really cool to see the sun come up. Not just because of the warmth it'll bring, but... Nice. We made it up to the, not quite the knees, the knees are still right up there I think, but we're higher than we've ever been and it is cold up here. I'm cold, but it's pretty. Feel the elevation for sure. Looking down on towns on either side of the volcano. At least we have this little shelter, so warming hands and stuff in here is nice. Alright, 
it's still morning, so we could wait and see if this thaws out, but uh, we're not so sure. It's still pretty packed in. It looks like there's footprints from a few days ago, so uh, if we had crampons, we'd be okay. We're at 15,496. Hopefully that shows up without the reflection. I don't really need a bag on this. It's waterproof, but hey. Um, pretty stoked on that. That's a new all-time high for me and for you. And uh, I think we're gonna go back. You can see the little hut. We are just past it, barely. Um, we'll head back to that, hang out for a little bit. And then uh, the sun right now is hitting the other side that we came up that was pretty icy. So we're gonna let it thaw out a little bit and then we'll head back down. So that part right up there, was a little more scrambling. It's just so icy. This so we're morning, just sliding around. Gnarly. Yeah, and you can see there's the path ahead. It's still very slippery and quite a bit of exposure. No snow or ice. Easy peasy. Like so we're now at like uh, uh, 14 8, something like that, I think. So that, that one out there? That's Pico, I think. It's the tallest. I think it's the tallest mountain in Mexico. I'm, I'm kind of going off of looking at the map a few days ago, though, so I'm not going to bother getting my phone out. Feel those hurting and those toes hurting as you go down, 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 down. Oh, but it's not so cold. So that is very nice. And there's a nice, warm, comfortable truck waiting for us at the bottom of this hill. And it has delicious food. And I think I'll sleep pretty good tonight. We also have a pretty cool camp spot, I think, picked out. So, all good things. We made it back to the parking lot. We're alive.
We made it back to Goose. We did. The most well-earned beer. It's probably, let's see what time it is. Probably highly inappropriate time. <laughs> nah, 10.20. 10.20. We've been up since 4 a.m. And we hiked up there. Not quite to the big one on the left, but to the saddle of the one on the right. Pretty epic. Yeah, I know. It, it, was, uh, it was a new high for us, and if we had crampons, we could have gone a lot further, but uh, man, it got sketchy. We were sliding pretty bad, and so we're just down on all fours trying to not slide off the mountain. And I would have, I'm dumb enough to keep pushing and going, and um, glad you said, you know, yeah, I'm not comfortable with this. This is getting crazy. Because it had already gotten sketchy a few times. And yeah. You pushed through, and you, you know, I knew. I knew what you were thinking, but you pushed through kind of for me and like, all right, if he thinks this isn't sketchy, but it was, we were sliding on rocks and scrambling. And then uh, when we hit that section though, you were completely right. It was like, okay, yep, say no more. But it was awesome. So cool. Feels good to get out and hike. It does. All right, we've been sitting here <laughs> watching the, uh, the, one, the active anymore, volcano. Actually, now, yeah, huh? no, and it's been, producing a lot of, um, I guess, steam. And yeah, we've just been watching it build and build and build and like within a span of like five minutes, suddenly we're just like encompassed by all the clouds that it's creating, I guess. Yeah, it's steam and it's not smoke, but there is a sulfur smell to it. So it's like sulfury water steam, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but it was kind of coming off the mountain, you know, down the side of it into the valley sort of towards Mexico City. And then it's like the wind changed and all these clouds it's been producing all morning just turned back and surrounded us. It's pretty us. clear right now. So what does one say to oneself when you are climbing up a volcano in the middle of, well not middle of night, in the morning when it's dark and cold? I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Thank you Dr. Leo Marvin. Thank you Bob. Our bladders didn't explode. We're good. several suitors for his beloved daughter. Aww.